Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome. This video is actually going to be a little bit more of a conversation on exceptions. So it's a follow-up of the previous video. You know, we got to build those layers and yeah. So I don't really have a whole lot to say. I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. When to throw our own exceptions, how to catch them, and how wide our exception catching should be. So let's just start with the throwing. So we can throw our own exceptions. Here, I'll show you how to do it. You just say throw new exception. Very simple. I did this earlier and I just had a brain fart, I guess, because I was like, dude, my syntax is perfectly fine. Why are you giving me an error? I didn't think, and I was like researching it, and I didn't think to hover over it and be like, oh yeah, duh, I forgot to deal with the exception. So when you throw an exception like this, you got to either add the, the throws piece right here or do the try catch. So hits, hit the try catch. There's also another piece to this, which is optional, finally. And when would you use this? This is for any resource cleanup or any absolute things you have to do because this finally will execute. Your program may not continue. However, you can be assured that any final things can be done inside of this finally. So you might run into that when you're working with reading from files, you might close the file stream or something like that. But that's not what I wanted to talk about right now. I just wanted to throw that out there. The main thing I wanted to talk about is this exception type is very general. There are a bunch of different exceptions and you can be more specific if you would like. So instead of throwing just plain exception, you can throw an IO exception and then hover and select import IO exception and there you go. Oh, and uh, don't forget the parentheses, sorry. Now you'll notice when I do this, we're not getting any errors, but we didn't change this catch part. So you can actually catch exceptions very generally. You can basically say, hey, I wanna catch all the exceptions, no matter what the type, just any exception. So watch this. If we say sys out Katya, let's run this. It says Katya right there. So this exception here was thrown, but this catch was executed. That's because this is kind of like a catch all. You can be more specific. So what we can do is we can push this catch down and we can make a new catch. And now we're getting a structure similar to like an if else if conditional. So this is gonna catch it. If that doesn't work, then this general one will catch it. So this is the catch all. So here we can do IO exception E. And you can use E for both of these because it'll only be in scope within these curly braces. And then this one, I'm just gonna say more specific. Let's run this. And it says more specific. So you can see the more specific one was ran first. Now let's just find out what happens if we put this at the bottom. And you can see it says unreachable code. It doesn't work. So it does go by order it's going to go from top to bottom and it'll hit this one first and then this will never be executed. So you don't wanna put them in the wrong order. Not that it's gonna let you anyways, it's obviously complaining about it. So let's put that back. This branching allows you to deal with different types of exceptions based on what happens, right? So maybe a file ran out of information and you can say, hey, we ran out of data or maybe we can't access a file or maybe the data in the file is incorrect or whatever it might be, we can do different things depending on the circumstances. So you can actually catch multiple different types of exceptions, specifically if you want to do the same thing for more than one. So you just put a pipe, which is right above the enter, just hold shift, and then you can put something like, uh, let's see if I can get this right, index out of bounds exception. There we go, I think that's right. So now, either one of these will cause it to say more specific. So it works similar to an or operator with an if statement. Now, when do you throw exceptions? Well, I mean, in my opinion, it should be in exceptional circumstances. So very rarely. Most of the time you can deal with the problem by using logic, if statements, while loops, and so forth. Some developers who are fairly new will use exceptions as if they are control flow, and that's not really what they're designed for. They're designed for things that aren't supposed to happen on the regular. But if you work around things good, you can usually avoid them. So for example, you're reading from a file, it doesn't work. Instead of having everything explode, you could just try again using a loop, or you can 
output and say, hey, we couldn't read from the file, trying again in 10 seconds or whatever. And then ultimately, if you can't get a hold of the file, you can throw an exception. So anytime you can, prefer to use logic over exceptions. When you do throw exceptions, try to be as specific as possible. And when you catch exceptions, you can catch numerous types of exceptions and do the appropriate thing. So that's valuable because that means you can make your try block very wide and put lots of code in here and then just have a couple of catches at the bottom. That's also a spectrum. You can be very granular and just have like one statement inside of the try and if it fails then do the catch or you can have numerous statements and if anything throws you can catch it. You don't want to be too wide with your try either because you want to keep relevant information together. So in college I didn't really like doing the exception handling junk so I would just just do the, the throws statements whenever I could and then inside a main I just put everything in a giant try <laughs> and then the rest of my code would just be here and then I just did a catch-all for any exception that my code would have thrown it's probably not ideal my professor got mad whatever it's fine I'm not guilty about it I've learned I totally haven't learned I still do it Anyways, that's all I got for you guys on exceptions. In the next video, I'm either going to do some really super awesome tutorial, cover something new, or I'm just going to say goodbye and fill up one of the 30 videos just because I can. Peace out, guys.